last thing you want to do is RSVP multiple times and not show your ass up and then cause me $240 for you. No, no, no. Some of that food coming home. Period. Yours on the plane. It's going to be leftovers or something. Because that shit ain't going back. Mm-mm. Not. But, I mean, it was only... And this is Lala News 3, and thanks for tuning in to another episode. And in this episode, I'll actually be speaking about the invoices that were actually sent to no-show guests of a wedding, which was kind of a interesting thing. So, um, and you guys probably heard about it because it went viral. Everybody was talking about it, but I decided to want to talk about it too because it sounded juicy. And so I went, and now we're here. Okay, so... Um, now, Lala News 3, you guys know where to reach me at all social media platforms, um, as well as podcasting and YouTube platforms also. Um, and then, this is filmed at Solid State Studios, so you guys know to contact me for any rental space that you guys may need in order for your podcast or for a studio recording, so. Um, but in the Invoice for No Show Guest episode, um, Douglas and Deetra Simmons, those were the marrying parties. Um, and they actually were having their wedding in Jamaica, so, um, they, you know, that involves flights and all of that, so keep that in mind, I'm saying that for a reason, because, okay, so, um, now, they check with, um, guests, they say four times, um, and then the final time that they checked in was August the 1st, okay, so they had checked in recently, just right before the, um, wedding, um, and eight guests that RSVP'd and said that they were coming, did a no show okay so um and i don't know i'm assuming that they didn't call they just didn't show a period they didn't let them know that they weren't going to come or my bad or nothing okay so they rsvp said they were coming and didn't however we know how weddings go you pay for the food you pay per person um generally speaking not generally speaking that's how the damn way it go unless Cousin Pookie is getting out there cooking up a whole bunch of chicken and fish and whatever it is that y'all have decided will go in with that menu, but generally it's catered, okay? And when it's catered, it costs a lot per person, okay? So, um, now they did cover the cost of the plates, and that will be $240 per couple, which is $120 per person. Um, but most people attending the wedding did show up as couples, which would be the $240. So we can just assume that these eight guests here were really four couples, okay? Um, so the invoice though, oh, well, hold on, I'm sorry. I'm jumping a gun. So they returned home and then they posted an invoice on Facebook um, for a no-call, no-show guest and then posted a $240 um, or $120 times two, depending upon what their situation was. They did list there that it was just that no show, oh, no call, no show. Okay, so that they attached, and it really was a real invoice, okay. Um, and they did go ahead and make sure that everybody saw it was from them, two guests that didn't show up, and the amount of $240 per, get, per couple or $120 per guest. So, um, the invoice was actually dated 8-8, which is August the 18th. Excuse me, not 8-8, 8-18. So, 8-18. Um, and then they had a due date of September the 9th. So, the I don't know what the hell I'm looking at, y'all. So, 8-18 to 9-18. So, they gave them basically 30 days from the date they sent the invoices out in order to make the payment of the $240 or $120 per person. Um, and then the post was actually shared, y'all, because it went crazy because people were like, damn, these people actually sent them an invoice. That's crazy. And then thousands of people shared that damn story and that invoice. Okay, so it became a kind of viral thing. Um, now, the couple actually did an interview with CNN, though. Um, and they said that some couples actually did reach out to pay them back as far as for the money. And they actually declined because it was just a teachable moment for them. And they wanted to let them know that that shit was disrespectful. They didn't say shit, I'm saying shit. But they wanted people to know that it was disrespectful and how they felt about it, considering the fact they invited you to their wedding. And then you have to take into account as well, I guess maybe some people may not have been able to afford the plane tickets and, you know what I'm saying, that, but they didn't have to pay for um, their food or any of that, you know, anything of that nature. I don't know who was paying for the housing accommodations 
um, or if everybody was paying for their own hotel or how that actually went down. But we do know for the no call, no show people, they did receive a damn invoice for that $240 per couple so that they can get their damn money back. However, it wasn't even that. It was a joke and it was to let them know that maybe their feelings were hurt um, and how they generally felt about it. But um, I thought that it was funny as hell. I'm sorry. The couple actually said that they admitted that they were being petty um, just so people could know how it felt. But people took it, you know, took it one way and then ran with it in that aspect. However, they were just being petty. And that's what the wife said out of her own mouth. Like, I was just being petty um, and we really didn't expect the money back. People had actually reached out and was like, you know what, my bad. Let me send you that, blah, blah, blah. So some people maybe didn't do it out of malicious intent. And some people may or may not have had the money. And some people just fucking didn't show up. But if somebody is communicating with you on four separate occasions, though, people that received this damn $240 bill, then you might want to communicate back with them so that they know for sure whether your ass is coming or not. Because that's $240 four times. I don't know who got an extra band to spend on somebody's meal and then you don't even fucking show up. You could ask for, you know, a plane ticket assistance or something. Before you just made me spend money for nothing. You know what I'm saying? We could have got your plane ticket and then they could have fed you whatever else. If you wanted that in exchange for your food. But what you didn't know was probably that that was $120 down plate dinner. That's what happens. People are not aware sometimes I think of how much a wedding actually costs to construct. Which not just like, okay you go, oh it's thousands of dollars. No, no, no. There's weddings that have been upwards in $100,000. Um, that's like a, that could be a small way, depending on how decked out you want it to be, all the way up to a million and millions. So depending on how high of a scale you want to go for this one day that's supposed to be special to the parties involved, last thing you want to do is RSVP multiple times and not show your ass up and then cost me $240 for you. No, 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 some of that food coming home, period. Yours on the plane, it's going to be leftovers or something, because that shit ain't going back. Mm -mm. not but I mean it was all in good fun as far as the invoices go though so it went viral because people were like damn I can't believe that they did that but then they were doing it in all good fun they didn't really want the money back you guys so make sure you keep that in mind don't bombard the people and beat them up for it it was a joke um, and they really didn't have they made them their friends they also did mention in shoulder shirts that their friends did make them a shirt with a big old invoice on it mirroring the invoice that they had received so it was they made a joke about it afterwards so the world took it as oh damn but the inside crew which would be her her husband and um, the people that they're involved with that they sent the invoice to know where they generally came from from it so um but let me know what you guys think would you feel funny about receiving an invoice if you didn't rsvp should we start doing all of that invoicing when people don't show up to parties or to events or things that you have invited them to generally is that a thing um to make to cover some of the costs that you've incurred by someone not showing up if they've already committed not just people when you throw a party and then nobody shows up so your feelings is hurt no i mean like people have committed four times to rsvping which you've reached out to assure this that it wouldn't be no money lost and your ass lost money because these people were incompetent or just didn't respect your friendship or maybe just didn't want to say they was broken, couldn't do it, or maybe been tied up. Whatever the situation was, you didn't know. So you sent the damn invoice out. So everybody needs to be okay with their response. Okay? Because wasn't nobody okay or uh, everybody was okay when they were spending that extra thousand dollars for people that didn't show up. So keep that same energy, people. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. This is Lala News 3. I'm filming at Solid State Studios. And we just went over the invoice that was received for no shows at a wedding um, that ended up costing the married couple a little change for their plates. So, um, tap in with me guys as well. Let me know if there's any other specific topics that you guys want to hear. And this is Lala News 3 and I'm out.